this week. Uh, we have our midterm, uh, but we are also going to cover HTML5 multimedia. Uh, so the multimedia information is kind of short, which is why I put the midterm this week. So um, you're going to do your web web-based readings. And again, even though it looks like there's quite a few, they're like a page or less. So this is not a lot of readings. Uh, and then you're going to go through the multimedia lecture demo, uh, which kind of pulls all those readings together. Uh, and we're going to cover how to link sound, how to embed sound, how to link video and how to embed video. And uh, then we'll also cover how to not only embed your own video, but how would you uh, embed a YouTube video? So we do cover a little bit about, you know, how sound files are created. So you understand that and the different sound file formats that are available. Uh, and then we get into the linking and embedding of the sound files. Uh, then we get into video uh, and a little bit of background on uh, video codecs, uh, which affect whether you can play the video back or not. And uh, I do have a link to some video editing software. If you get into video, that's really helpful. Uh, and then the different video file formats. And then again, how to link and how to embed. And I do have examples. Uh, this is an example of an embedded video. How to tell what the dimensions are. Uh, and then how would you go about embedding a YouTube video? So all of that information is in the lecture demo. And then for the assignments, the textbook assignment basically has one web page that you're going to be working with. I am giving you the page. I am giving you all of the graphics, all of the audio, and all of the videos. So there's quite a few things you're going to have to download. Um, but then you are going to be adding the embedded audio, the links to the different audio files. Okay. And so I've got the locations that you're going to be adding those. And then uh, you're basically going to do the same thing for the video. So you're going to embed a video and you're going to link out to several different videos. And then finally, uh, you are going to be adding an iframe. And this is a, a YouTube video that you are going to be including in your page. So that is what you are working on. And I'm going to pause here so I can show you what the final result is going to look like. So this is what the final result is going to look like. You're going to have like three columns here. And let me zoom out a little bit. Um, first column just basically has a couple of pictures in it. Uh, then the middle column, uh, we have an embedded uh, audio, three audio links. And then at the bottom here, you will have your YouTube uh, video. And then over on the right will be the embedded video and the video links. And your YouTube video should work. Uh, the, the content is not prevented uh, from displaying. I've had to change that in the past. <laughs> so um, at this point, it still works. Uh, and this is what it should look like. Okay. And then you'll have to transfer you know, all those files up to the web that are in your Lesson 7 folder. Uh, for the lab assignment, you're going to be creating your own multimedia page. And so I, I have a couple examples for you to look at, uh, but the primary re requirements are that you have an embedded sound file, and then you also have to link out to three different sound files. 
And um, honestly, the Pixabay site now has video and they have sound. So that is where I would go to find the files, um, unless you want to create your own. Pixabay is awesome uh, because you, you'll you notice that there is music, there's sound effects, and there's videos. And you can uh, search and download because uh, they are all royalty free. So that is where I would look for those files. Um, then in addition to the embedded sound and the link out to three different sound files, um, you also need to embed video. Now the embedded video can be one of your own or you can use um, a YouTube video and, and use the iframe. Uh, you also have to link to three different uh, videos. So you can certainly link to three different YouTube videos. Um, if you have your own video, if you save it in three different formats, it is perfectly fine to link to those. So I do have examples here, a couple. Uh, this is a Halloween example. You can see that uh, I've got an embedded sound, which is wolves. And then I did the link to three different uh, wolf file formats, wolf sound. Uh, and then for the video link, I have uh, a link here to YouTube. Um, you only need three. Uh, as you can see, I have four. And then I did an embedded video. And then for fun, I just did another one. You only need one. You need three video links. You need one embedded video. Okay, that's all you need. Uh, for this little example here, this is for actually my granddaughter who loves ducks. Um, I've got an embedded sound, uh, and then I've got links out to th that same sound saved three different ways. And then I've got three different video links. And for my embedded link, I did a YouTube. So you are going to be doing something similar. Okay, that is the lab assignment. Uh, and once you are done with that, you will work on the midterm. Uh, the midterm will be open for a week. Uh, and just like the other uh, tests that I have in other classes, you are going to be allowed to take it three times. Um, and so your highest score is what is going to be added to the grade book. Um, there are 21 questions that are the same on every test that you take. And then there's 29 that are randomly retrieved. So if you take the test more than once, 21 questions will be the same. The other ones are gonna be randomly retrieved. Okay, um, when you submit the test, uh, it will be automatically scored, but you are not gonna see the correct answers until the test closes, okay? It is open note, open book and there is no time limit. Okay, so make sure you guys give yourself enough time to take this three times, because that is how you're going to get the best possible test score. Uh, and as far as extra credit goes, we do have an industry night out that falls in this particular week. And if you go to that, uh, here is the Dropbox where you can submit your summary and get your extra credit. Uh, as far as resources go, I did include a link to the on-campus tutoring. If you run into problems or if you have any questions at all, please let me know and have an awesome week.